Hello there, and welcome to episode 5 of the Early Attack Progress and Perspectives. In the last episode, I've added the new drill block. Check it out if you haven't seen that episode already, because I also made a couple other little changes. Now, one thing I mentioned in the last episode was that I planned originally to add another machine, but that it was a bit difficult to add that one. But I will still add that one this episode. Now, the machine that I want to add today is called a rolling mill. And this machine will be able to turn ingots into rods, and then you can further process rods and turn it into wires. Now, as usual, I would like to first show the model. The layout for the model is a bit different than what you saw in the concept art. The rollers also have an animation. Oh, that's really fast! Alright, let's slow that down. <laughs> and the, their directions are opposite of each other, so that... Um, Basically, you would put something in from the top and it would go in between these rollers and get basically stretched. So that's it art-wise. Now the challenge will be to code this into the game. So here we have it. It's in-game. That means I'm done, right? Well, not at all because the machine has basically four things what make it more complicated. First of all, it needs to tick, which is that it keeps track of time. Second of all, it needs to have an inventory that can store items. Aside from that, it also needs a renderer as a way to show the item contents. Because this is just a simple machine and I don't really feel like giving it a graphical user interface. And lastly, it also needs to be able to do recipes so it knows which item to turn into what. So there's lots of coding to do, and let's get started with that. First of all, I'm gonna work on the ticking, which is quite simple in essence. In this tick method, you can specify what the machine should do. For now, I just made it count to 100 and then reset back to 0. And then in the block class, there's this getTicker method, which should point to that tick method. But I made it so that only if the machine is powered, it's gonna be able to tick. Now we'll get back to that tick method later to code a bit more behavior for the machine when doing the recipes. So keep that in mind for later. Step 2. The inventory. So let's work on that. You cannot directly click items into the machine yet, but you can do it with hoppers as you can see here. And then you can also get them out from the bottom. And it even saves. So if I put some aluminium in here, for example 3, and then I log out. And then I load back into the game. Then you can see I can extract still the same three aluminium out of that machine. Now, I also had to make it so that if the machine had any items inside, it will drop them when you break the machine so that you can get your valuable items back. All right, so now that the inventory is working, the next thing was to add the renderer for the item so that you can see the item basically go through the roller uh, when you're ticking it. And here you see, when, when you roll it all the way through, it converts into two copper rods. And these are a new block which you can place in uh, basically any direction. But you can also put it in the roller a second time. And then one rod, if you roll it, uh, give me a second. All right, now you can see that convert into two copper wires. And the copper wires, you can place them down, uh, basically like rails or like redstone wire. You can also make these kind of uh, crossroads when there's a three-way intersection or four-way intersection. And yeah, they can also go up a block diagonally. Uh, so these rods and wires are going to be used as crafting components, but of course also as decorative blocks. And uh, in case of the wires, they will also transmit electricity once I get to implementing that. Another thing is they can actually go over a block just like this because they were kind of like scaffolding. So if they are supported, um, you can bridge them across like this. But if you remove the support, then it's gonna fall down like that. 
So the roller mill is almost finished. It's still a bit buggy and I haven't really implemented the recipes properly yet, but I'm pretty tired of working on it now. And I think I've worked enough on it, so I'm excited to show you guys how it looks at the moment. So I just want to get this episode out and published. So that's gonna do it for today. Hopefully you guys like the new roller mill block as well as the new wires and rods. And I would like to see you in the next episode. Bye bye.